hi guys it has been a while uh but i'm back with a new moon reading today or tomorrow we have on the 18th or 19th of august a new moon in leo and i actually wanted to do this reading earlier i wanted to do it on sunday and then combine it with my spiritual sundays but I had an emergency in the family, so uh, I wasn't able to do it. But you can read a little bit more about the energies on my website, on my weekly blog, uh, soulsbless.com. I will put a link in the description if you want to read a little bit more about the energies for this week. So we have a new moon in Leo and on the 22nd of august the sun transits into virgo so what i've been picking up on um is that after the lion's gate during the lion's gate uh the energies were quite intense in regards to more healing and transformations um which could have felt a little bit dark and as if you were kind of being pulled down again in your energy like your energy was coming from a lower um, place but this is normal for your healing journey like it goes back and forth up and down um, healing is not a linear process it goes all the way so um you can feel at times as if you're kind of like experiencing setbacks but this is not the case it's all part of your of your healing and when you know like lower energies um old fears anxieties around certain things certain people come back this just means that you're healing and you're releasing those energies so you have to kind of go through it again and experience the same things over and over until you're completely ready to let it go. So if you have been experiencing this with people from your past or just uh, especially around fears and anxiety is what I'm getting, um, which is often also linked to certain addictions, behaviors that can come back to... Um, let's say uh, you're you had an addiction to food or certain things and all of a sudden you thought you healed that and all of a sudden it came back that just means that a little bit more of that energy is is inside of your system and when it comes to the surface uh, it's ready to be cleared completely it might feel as if you have a little setback but like i said that's not the case so just keep repeating, remembering, reminding yourself that you're healing and it's okay, you're safe. Uh, you can do affirmations. Um, I post uh, regularly on Instagram, just daily, daily inspiration, affirmations and quotes. You could just repeat to yourself because this, you know, words and thoughts are very powerful. So this can also work very healing. So now I'm just going to draw some cards for the collective, for all signs to see what this new moon. New moons are great for new beginnings, setting your intentions. And Leo is a very positive fire sign. I'm a Leo rising. So um, the energies are becoming a little bit more positive. We feel energized. We want to move forward. We feel creative. Uh, artistic so I have the king of wands in reverse the nine of wands the king of pentacles and the four of cups so two kings here after a period of feeling um, exhausted could also have to do with the heat most of us have been uh, experiencing no matter where you are in the world it was very hot for the last couple of 
days, weeks in different parts of the world. And this just, for me, was a sign that we should slow it down a little bit. Could also be that you have been suffering from a certain injury. And this is your body telling you that you need to take more rest, that you need to slow down. And when you keep ignoring those signs that you are just on the verge of like a burnout or you're, you're just asking too much of your body and your mind, then this is gonna show in your circumstances like you'll get injured or you'll actually burn out or just be extremely tired. And that is your body telling you that you just need to rest and take it easy. And with the King of Wands in reverse, like I said, for some of us, it might have felt as if you are being held back or pulled down or as if your, your growth was stagnating. But this is not always the case. Sometimes we just need to take a little bit of rest so that we can gain more insights um, about how to move forward and which opportunities to take on and which opportunities to resist. Sometimes today I heard a, a song um, from Anderson Park and he said, sometimes you need a friend, but sometimes you need a foe. So people in your um, environment, in your life that feel fake, that can make you doubt yourself again and be like, I thought I was done attracting people like this. And then they come back and uh, disappoint you again. But sometimes you need this in order to open your eyes and to stay woke, basically. So... Try to remind yourself that everything always happens for a reason. So when you're tired or when you experience difficult uh, stuff with certain people, situations, this is actually beneficial for your growth. Try to use triggers, try to use difficulties, obstacles in order to grow, to you know find your strength and move forward, stay resilient, stay standing strong despite of things that may feel like setbacks. So like I said, it's not a stagnation, it's just to make you even stronger. Things happen for you, not to you. And people also trigger you and do stuff to you or just, you know, not be the best friends you you might have wished for actually to help you grow. So we're all just basically helping each other on our own path, helping each other grow, helping each other to stay mindful, to stay, to keep our eyes open. So even the bad things that happen, happen for a reason. That was the point. <clears throat> Just should have said that way more clearer, but... So the Justice card, that's actually the second time I draw... I draw I have drawn this card today and what I'm getting is that we're setting things right with the people in in our lives people from our past people from maybe even past lives if if that if that's something you believe in um that is a major part of our of our healing process is actually setting things right with people healing karma breaking karmic ties with others that is actually what we are doing here on earth that is what it means to heal we're actually healing relationships and ties and attachments with other people and we're making things more equal uh, more fair so I also have the nine of cups in reverse and the page of swords in reverse. 
So I'm feeling that for a lot of us, we're getting out of like a little bit of a dark hole. We're kind of like crawling out of a, a place where we were just very focused on ourselves, very uncommunicative. And now we are just kind of reaching out to people again. But we want to make sure that these people are the right people for us, the right people on our path and not the fake friends I was talking about earlier. So you want to be very discerning for yourself what situations you want to take on. And I also wrote a little bit about that in my blog. Like there's going to be a lot of opportunities presented to us. But you want to be mindful and discerning, so you might not want to say yes uh, very impulsively, very, too, too soon or too early to everything and everybody that is presented to you, every opportunity. You really want to listen, go within, listen to your intuition. That angel with the horn, to me, that's the divine, that's our intuition. So you really want to stay mindful and focused before you move move forward and before you get in get yourself into a certain situation with certain people because not all not everything and everybody is serving your highest good and is is balanced enough to keep you balanced and to keep your uh is not in like not everything and everybody that is presented to you is going to be in alignment with um, your soul's purpose. So then I have the Page of Wands and the Three of Swords that came out together. And the Three of Swords I also ha had already um, pulled this morning for just for myself, actually. And... With that card, I'm getting that there's just still a lot of ego that needs to be healed. A lot of um, like our minds going on and on about certain people, things that people said to us, done to us. But like I said, the triggers are actually... They might feel hurtful. They might be like, feel like a betrayal or like somebody actually stabbed you in the heart. Like this picture is, is showing. But like I said, these even the bad things happen for a reason. And it's just actually a symptom of the fact that we're healing. Because everything that goes on inside of you is reflected outside of you in situations and people you attract so i'm not saying like everything that happens is your own fault it's not a question about it's not about who's to blame but it is about seeing a lesson in every situation and figuring out for yourself what you still need to heal and why things are basically happening and becoming um coming back again and again and again until you you've healed it completely there's also a lot of fear around um trust trusting other people trusting that we take on and take in the right people and I know this is true for me as well. Like, this is a lesson I am learning right now. Like, we can be very distrusting because people tend to be selfish and let us down. And when that happens uh, too often, you kind of, like, become overprotective of your own heart and of your own space. And... You become very doubtful um, about certain 
people and situations if you want to move forward and if this is in your highest good and if it if it is in alignment with your path but we're kind of learning to let that let that go and trust our inner guidance like i said with the judgment card trust the divine um just trust every that everything happens for you and everything happens for you to learn how to discern between uh, what is right for you and what isn't. So that's a, it's actually a part of just learning to love yourself and from the heart instead of the mind. So we're releasing ego and the ego is very fearful. The ego is very protective of us. So this is what we're healing right now. And we're kind of opening the heart again and... Um, this could play out physically, so you could have like heart tremors during the day or the heart and the throat are also re uh, related to each other. So you could have like a cough or just uh, the throat the throat being um, activated. So your chakras are being activated in your chest area. You could feel that. So just again, remind yourself that that means you're healing, you're releasing toxic energies from that area and becoming more open, more honest. Okay. Um, Queen of Swords, the Tower and the Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, Tower. Ten of Pentacles is a very positive card for me. It's about achieving... Um, what it is you want for yourself, creating a life that is fulfilling for you. And the tower is about awakenings. With the queen of swords, I'm getting that the feminine energies. So we have defined masculine and defined feminine energies within ourselves. And these just represent they also play out collectively. So when I say the defined feminine collective or the defined feminine, uh, defined masculine collective is awakening or is healing, this means that these part of ourselves are being addressed right now and this also happens collectively. So what I'm getting is that there are more collective awakenings of the inner defined feminine and actually the defined feminine being very in her power, empowered, um, just not playing out the, the um, original past roles that, so like how the, the feminines, the role that the feminines used to play in the past, things are just being shaken up. And especially the Defined Feminine is stepping into her power, speaking her truth. And it's kind of like, is super empowered and motivated to create the life in the way that she sees best for herself. So I'm saying her, but this is also part of every, every human being. So your gender is uh, irrelevant. So if you are a guy and you are healing your Defined Feminine, this can play out in you just waking up to a different truth, waking up to how you have treated females in your life, um, the role that certain females have played in your life and the effect that that has on you, in what ways that has wounded your inner defined feminine so your your softer side your more spiritual side how that could have been suppressed and that is now coming to the surface so you're kind of waking up to becoming more in tune with your own feminine side that's often how this plays out the awakening of the defined feminine and the rise of the defined feminine Stepping into your divine feminine power and energy. So it's not about gender. It's more about qualities that we all have. Then I have the devil and the chariot. 
So I'm also getting that we're realizing how certain work situations and um, certain mindsets have been toxic. And to me, it is very much about how everything has been very masculine oriented, like hard work, make a lot of money and, you know, create that picture perfect. But actually, you're really living for the eyes of others like you you're gaining all this money and you know things that actually come from the ego beautiful cars and things like that um we're realizing right now as a collective that this is a this is just very a very toxic mindset like the work hard and you always have to put in work we're realizing that this is very toxic that we're always striving and we're always moving fo um, forward and we're not taking the rest like i said in the beginning of the reading we're not taking the rest that our body and mind also needs sometimes and when we keep ignoring that part of ourselves it's going to play out in your reality as an injury or a burnout or um, just tremendous amounts of stress anxiety uh, addictions coming back because it's too much for you to handle and you just want to run a, run away in distractions but just remind yourself you are very strong you have your inner power you have your divine guidance that you can always uh, rely on and your soul will never give you lessons you cannot take so you can take more than you think because thinking happens from here and it's actually the heart and the soul that are the warriors within us and that are the super major strong. So try to come down, centered, do your meditations, your affirmations so that you can feel confident within, from within and stay you know balanced and s stable from within so i am now moving to my moon cards which i usually i actually wanted to do healing cards because with the new moon it's um more about releasing setting your intentions healing you know things come like the moon is dark when it's a new moon the moon is there's it, the moon is completely dark and um, this will bring up things from within that uh, have been hidden. But I instinctively uh, took the moon cards anyway. So maybe later I'll draw a healing crystal card also. So what we have is the tree moon, which is about death and rebirth. And when I was writing my blog, this was another um, sign that came to me, like the phoenix came to me a couple of times. In meditation, I saw uh, fire, things being just burned to ashes, and then it can re-emerge again. So death and rebirth, death is not always a, uh, a bad thing. It, yeah, another thing was because of that, that Sunday, I... Uh, with the family situation I had was that my uncle is dying. So I also had to think about death a lot lately. Um, give me a second to translate. All right. Worse than dying is not living a true life. What is it that you would live for or that you could die for? And then let something that is blocking your, uh, your growth and your development die within you. So this is very much about making the right choices for you, figuring out what is really important to you, stop living for others. Like um, that was another thing that came in the reading, just making your own powerful choices, staying grounded and centered and balanced from within. And 
with this new moon letting something go which is what it means to let something die that is still blocking you so um really try to meditate a little bit extra to see what it is or maybe you can pull the information from the things that are triggering you um things that are exhausting you and instead of seeing it as a bad thing seeing it as something that is ready to to be released ready to transition and die in that form death is actually just a transition from one one state to another all right to close it off a um crystal healing card just to see what crystals could be beneficial in my spiritual sunday it was the smoky quartz which is also very helpful in releasing letting go okay three came out <laughs> and then this one um yeah y unikite i don't know the translation let me google it real quick Unikite, yeah. Unikite. <laughs> Never heard of. But it's about being emotionally balanced and being non judgmental and loving towards others. Then Rhodonite, which is the pink and black uh, combinated. Same thing mental, emotional balance and attracting people that support you so this is very very uh resonant to resonant to the reading creating that emotional mental balance and in that way if you're balanced from within you will attract better people and as long as you don't attract better people it doesn't mean that your growth is stagnating. It just means that you still need to heal, which means balancing out. Heal be means becoming whole, means becoming healthy, whole, balanced. It's the same thing. So balancing out yourself and in that way creating balanced circumstances and a balanced life. Um, yeah, meditate uh, regularly stay focused and let your connection to the universal truth guide you every day so that is a perfect card to end this reading with um i hope this was helpful and i will be back uh with the full moon in about a week or two so hope to see you bye bye